Welcome to Big Daddy Storytime. We're reading Walt Disney's Princess. Five minute princess stories. Sleeping Beauty, Aurora and the Helpful Dragon. I'll race you to the lookout point, Princess Aurora called to Prince Philip as they galloped through the forest one sunny morning. She spread, sped away on her horse, Buttercup, with Prince Philip close behind. As they rounded a bend, a small dragon popped out from behind a tree. The prince and the princess went to it at once. Gurk, 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 the little dragon said softly. Oh, he's so cute, Aurora exclaimed. Philip was worried. Dragons can be dangerous. The little dragon shook his head. Aurora laughed. <laughs> I think he's saying he's not dangerous. Let's take him home. I'm going to call him Crackle. He does seem like a harmless little fellow, Philip agreed. Aurora picked up Crackle, but Buttercup was afraid. He tossed his mane and, pa and pawed the ground. Then Crackle licked the horse's nose. Buttercup blinked with surprise and nuzzled Crackle's cheek. The little dragon giggled. <laughs> Buttercup likes Crackle, Aurora exclaimed. When Philip and Aurora rode into the court co courtyard, the three good fairies were hanging banners for a ball. King Stephen and his wife were coming to visit. Flora gasped when she saw Crackle. Dragons can be dangerous. Remember the last one? Fauna added. Oh, I think he's sweet, Merryweather spoke up. Grr, grr, the cr cr Crackle babbled. He seems to think you're sweet too, Aurora told Merryweather. Just then, Crackle noticed a kitten in a basket of yarn. Crackle listened to it purring. Purr, purr, and he scratched up his mouth, scratched up his mouth, and closed his eyes. He tried to purr, purr, grr, purr, grr. Clouds of smoke steamed from his nose and mouth. A chew, a chew, a a a chew. The fairy sneezed so hard from the smoke that they tumbled backwards. Crackle looked sad for a moment. Then he saw the kitten playing with a ball of yarn, and he snee he snatched some. Whoosh! The yarn burst into flames. Merryweather put out the fire with her wand. Oh, Crackle, Aurora said gently. You're not a kitten. You're a dragon. Crackle, Crackle lowered his lip. His lower lip trembled. A moment later, Philip led the horses into the stable. A dog followed, barking and wagging his tail. Crackle ran after them, wagging his tail, too. He tried to bark. Woof! Grr! Roof, grr. Flames shot from his mouth, and some straw caught fire. Philip poured water on the burning, st burning straw. You're not a dog, he said kindly, shooing Crackle away. Sadly, the little dragon crept out of the stable. Aurora noticed that Crackle looked unhappy, so she took him to the castle. As the prince princess began to tell a story, a bird sang by the window. Crackle's ears perked up. He tried to sing like a bird. Larger, he bellowed. King Herbert heard the racket and rushed into the room. Oh, my, my, my! How did a dragon get in here? he shouted. Crackle had never heard a loud, angry voice before. Frightened, he ran to the garden. Aurora chased after Crackle. At last, she found the little dragon sitting beside a fountain, wa watching a fish. Splash, 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 splash! Before Aurora could stop him, Crackle jumped into the water. Crackle, you're not a fish, Aurora exclaimed as she pulled the dragon from the pool. You're not a kitten or a dog or a bird. You're a dragon. Tears rolled down Crackle's face. Grr, grr, he sobbed. Suddenly Aurora understood. Do you think no one will, not, will like you because you're a dragon, she asked. Crackle nodded and whimpered. You can't change what you are, Aurora said kindly, but you did have to be, but you don't have to be dangerous. You can be a helpful dragon. Crackle stopped crying. Grr, 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 he mur murmured hopefully. Before Aurora could answer, thunder boomed and dark clouds covered the sky. As Aurora and Crackle ran back to the castle, rain began to pour down. Everyone was gathered in the grand hallway watching the storm. I'm afraid King Stephen and the Queen might lose their way. Prince, Prince uh, Philip said, concerned. Aurora looked at Crackle. 
Do you want to show everyone that you're a kind, brave dragon? She asked. Grr, 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 crack, crackle exclaimed enthusiastically. Fly to top of the highest tower, Oro instructed. Then blow the largest, brightest flame you can get you, that you can to help guide my parents to the castle. A moment later, the little dragon soared upward. Be careful, the princess called. Everyone tried to see Crackle, but it was too dark. Suddenly, gold and red flames lit up the sky above the watchtower. Crackle had done it again and again. Crackle blew his flames. At last, Philip shouted, I see King Stefan's coach. They're almost here. Everyone hurried to greet the visitors. The tower light saved us, King Stefan exclaimed. I need, I need one like that. At that moment, Crackle flew into the call. Well, here he is, our new tower light, King Herbert said with a laugh. A dragon? King Stefan asked. But dragons are dangerous. Uh, not, not Crackle, Aurora interrupted. He's a brave and helpful dragon. What have we learned today, my friends? We learned from Aurora, Prince Philip, the little dragon Crackle, Buttercup, the fairies, and King Herbert that being brave and helpful helps everyone. Be helpful, my friends. Be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more Big Daddy Storytime. God bless.